Kensbury, because of our school closure this spring, we are all going to need to be able to digitally sign our ACT AB2 evaluation forms. So this presentation is simply going to walk you through how to go about doing that digitally. First and foremost, everyone's going to start at PAE tab, and you are going to simply click log in to log in the way you would normally log into PAE tab. Once you are there, you're going to click My Observations. And from there, you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom to look at your ACT 82 forms. You're going to find your 2019-20 form. I realize it is not on there for me right now, um, but you will have one that says 2019-20. And you will very simply click View. And when that loads, you'll then scroll down to the bottom of the form and click Print Form. When the form goes to print, you want to select your destination printer to save to Google Drive. And then at the bottom, you will then click Save. When that pop-up window goes away, that's your sign that that file has now been saved to your Google Drive. So you will now go to Google Drive. You may need to hit Refresh or just wait a moment. And you will see that you now have a new document called Untitled Document PDF that you can see in the thumbnail looks like your Act 82 form. Before you do anything else, I would strongly encourage you to rename this simply by right-clicking and selecting Rename, and I might call this Swope Act 82 2019-20, just to be clear that what document it is, and especially since your administrator will be looking at this. You are then going to click OK. That simply renames the document. We now need to put your signature on the document. So you're going to start by clicking the document. And when the screen comes up, you'll click Open With and Annotate with Kami, which will load your document in Kami. It may prompt you to log in with Google. If it does, you will simply click Log in with Google. Once the form loads, you're going to scroll down to the bottom of the form so that the Line, the part of the form that says signature of employee is visible. You're going to come over here and select signature, where it's going to give you one of three options to get your signature onto this form. If you already have your signature saved on your computer, you can click upload image. It will ask you to browse through your files as you are likely used to, to find the file that has your signature, and you can attach it that way. You can choose to draw your signature, in which case, either using your finger or some sort of stylus, you can simply draw your signature in the box on the touch screen, touch screen of your computer. The last option was to allow you to do it using your phone. That's probably the most complicated option as you then have to send a link to your phone and send it back to your laptop. So I would advise using one of the first two options. If you chose to draw your signature, you will then click Upload. And you will then see that your signature now appears in this box. You notice there's a blue line around it. And I'm simply going to click Insert, which as I start to move my mouse around, you notice my signature is attached. I'm going to move my mouse to position my signature where I want it. And then I'm simply going to click, which will place my signature. If I make a mistake, it is not a huge deal. I can simply grab my signature and drag and drop it to where I need it to go. The last thing that I need to do is I need to then add the date. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select text box. I'm going to bring my cursor over to the date line and I'm going to click on the date line and enter today's date. I now have a document that has my signature and the date on it. I'm going to come up to the top and click Save. And, it is and I'm going to click Save Now. So this is now automatically saving this to Google Drive where it was already saved. If you prefer to download this and have this on your desktop, you can certainly do that as well. Your principal will then be giving you further instructions about how you are supposed to submit this Act 82 form, but this is simply how you got the signature on it.